welcome to science learning gateway i hope you all are doing good so today in this tutorial we are going to discuss class 6 science ncert chapter number 9 the living organisms and their surroundings question answers in this video i will explain each and every question answers of chapter number 9 the living organism and their surrounding before starting guys i have a small request from you all if you are really liking my tutorial my channel then please like it and share it with your friends also so that whenever and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that whenever i will be uploading a new video you will get the notification for that so first question of this chapter is what is a habitat so what is a habitat habitat you all know that it is the home for all the living organism so what answer we have to write for this one the surrounding where animals live are called their habitat the place or the surrounding where the animal live is called their habitat for example your home in your home you are living so that is a habitat for you like that only for animals the place where they live is called their habitat the organism depend on their habitat for their food, water, air, shelter and other needs means all the organisms depend on their habitat or the place where they are living for what? For the basic needs like food, water, air, shelter and other needs. So this is the answer for the first question. Second question what we have, how is cactus adapted to survive in a desert means what are the features which are present in the cactus because of which it can easily grow in the desert area. So we will write this answer in three points. Cactus is adapted to survive in a desert as they have first point, they have no leaves or spiny leaves to prevent water loss through transpiration in the cactus plant you all have seen that they don't have any leaves or they have spiny leaves to prevent water lo loss through transpiration. If they will have leaf, then what will happen? Water will lost from the plant through the process of transpiration. So they don't have any leaf. So no transpiration will occur. Second point is stem is modified in such a way that it performs photosynthesis and conserves water. Stem, uh, you know that in all the plant, the leaf, leaf is the particular organ which can carry on the photosynthesis process but in cactus stem is modified is made in such a way that it will perform the photosynthesis process and conserve the water third point is their roots go very deep into the soil for absorbing water the roots of the cactus plants are very long they will go very deep into the soil and they will absorb the water from the soil so this is the answer for this question next question what we have question number three fill in the blanks we have in this question the first question for fill in the blanks is the presence of specific feature which enable a plant or animal to live in a particular habitat is called dash. So what is that answer? It is adaptation. Okay. Because of adaptation, because of that, the plants and animals can live in a particular habitat with all the basic needs. Second question, the habitat of the plant and animal that live on land are called dash habitat. As you know, the animals which live on the land are called terrestrial animals. Like that only, the habitat is called terrestrial habitat. As you can see, the animals that live on the land. The habitat of the plant and animal that live in water. So the animals which live in water are called what? Aquatic animals. So that habitat is called what? Aquatic habitat. Soil, water and air are the dash factors of the habitat. Since soil, water and air, they don't have any life. So they are the abiotic factors of our habitat. And the last question we have, changes in our surrounding that makes us respond to them are called dash. They are called stimuli. So this is the answer for fill in the blanks. Next question, list the common characteristics of living things. We have to write the common characteristics of the living things in this answer. First point is all the living things can grow. So you can write they can grow. All living things can move. They can move. They can. All living things can reproduce. And all living things can respire. So these are the four characteristics which all the living organisms have. They can grow. They can move. They can reproduce. And they can respire. Now we'll move towards the next question, question number 5. Name some plants found on mountains. So some plants which are found on mountains are oaks, pinus and deodars. You can write any two or three, three plants names which are found on mountains. Oaks, pinus and deodars. Name some organisms that, that live in deserts. So some organisms that live in deserts are cactus, camel and desert rat. Cactus and camel you know and desert rat you can write. Name the animal which is called the ship of the desert. So which animal is called the ship of the desert? Camel. Camel is called the ship of the desert. Okay. And next question is photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? The, so it is the process. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food with the help of what? With the help of chlorophyll, sunlight, carbon dioxide and water is called photosynthesis. So what is the answer? The process by which plants make their own food with the help of chlorophyll, sunlight, carbon dioxide and water is called photosynthesis. So with this we have finished the question. No. Uh, 
टू मोर क्वेश्चन वी हैव इन दिस चैप्टर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन नेम द टाइप्स ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ हैबिटेट तो देर आर टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स बायोटिक कॉम्पोनेंट एंड ए बायोटिक कॉम्पोनेंट बायोटिक कॉम्पोनेंट आर द लिविंग इज द लिविंग कॉम्पोनेट लाइक प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स ए बायोटिक कॉम्पोनेट आर द नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स लाइक एयर वाटर सॉइल राइट सो देर आर टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ हैबिटेट बायोटिक एंड ए बायोटिक एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नेम वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ हैबिटेट तो वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ हैबिटेट्स आर टेरिस्ट्रियल हैबिटेट एक्वेटिक हैबिटेट एंड एरियल हैबिटेट टेरिस्ट्रियल मीन्स द लैंड हैबिटेट एक्वेटिक मीन्स द वाटर हैबिटेट एरियल मीन्स द एयर हैबिटेट तो वी हैव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ हैबिटेट इन दिस इन दिस इन्वॉयमेंट ओके सो विद दिस वी हैव फिनिश द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर Thank you for watching my channel Science Learning Gateway. If you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubt. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that whenever I will be uploading a new video, you will get the notification for that. Thank you for watching my channel.